disgusting, violent, foul mouthed, no, disgusting no, little <laughs> rat. A little rat bag, in fact. Well, that rat boy has now succumbed to some rat poison. <laughs> Get rid of the that EU. Nasty, vile, disgusting little rat has now been caught. <laughs> <laughs> Rat boy! It's <laughs> over! Some of you that have no life may have been watching him on the internet this week. He's been live streaming all day and all night and hitting the bottle, which resulted in him once again repeating his vile diatribe that he was going to behead someone, that he was going to kill someone, that he was going to bury them. Accusation, Steve. This vile, disgusting little rat. Well, I bring you news. Because counter-terrorism have been knocking on his door and counter-terrorism have arrested that vile, disgusting rat. But, bizarrely, they have released him on bail. But, I can assure you all that we will not be experiencing that vile rat here at Speaker's Corner again. Free speech. Because today he will be being served a notice telling him not to return to Speaker's Corner. So let's celebrate the end of that vile, disgusting rat. That's all I have to say. Talk more. Not long enough. Oh. You got some more views like this. Who is he? Omar. Oh, um, you know him. I've heard of him. Joseph's here. I wouldn't like to say a few words. Oh, no, it's over the trees. That way. That direction. Find the trees. Is there any questions? He wasn't going to be a piss. So, how about that Sharia law, huh? What about that Jizya? Fuck your Jizya. So any questions? That's basically all I had to share with you. How, how do you know what, what fantastic news? What do you right. think? I have my sources. I have my sources. sources. Question so, Alleluia! Another Aye. disgusting, vile scumbag has been taken off the streets. Tonight and online. How do you know this? I have my sources. <laughs> as you have your sources. Right, come back and I don't have any sources. I don't think he can disguise it. In a face like, like that, it's harder to I mean, yeah, it's not very nice calling someone a rat, is it? But look at the guy. <laughs> look, hey, look at the guy and look at his behaviour. If he was a nice guy, we wouldn't be calling him Rat Boy. Is it true that rat Boy, but he's a vile, disgusting no, piece of scum. Like you know, one of the countries. <laughs> Jamie Goddard. All this verbal is it true that he has mental He issues? said, well, he's been live streaming all hours of the day, all night long, and he hit the bottle. So I think anyone, any, anyone that's not had any sleep and then hits the bottle is going to be going a bit loony, aren't they? You now, does, the, the, does that equate to mental health food. problems? Or does that just equate to lack of sleep and, and getting drunk? Yeah, you got it's so important to talk about him. Steve, you have more important things Didn't you meet him once? Not him. Is he going to meet him once? Is he in more trouble with the police? Or is it the mum? What does he want? Oh, okay. Start screeching. Oh, oh, what about freedom of speech? When you threaten to behead someone, that is not covered by freedom of speech. Exactly. So don't even go there. Yes. Threatening to behead people is not freedom of speech. Yes. This place is about freedom of speech. This place is not about threatening to behead people. Yeah. That is really straightforward. But they used to do it here. So anyone that starts screeching, oh, what about freedom of speech? Fuck off. You're, you don't you don't have a brain that deserves you to be here. Even asking Because we all know in any context, threatening to cut someone's head off 
is not freedom of speech. Well, Steve Omar made the park interesting. It was funny. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Until somebody Tad, gets killed. Tad made the park interesting. Yeah, but a lot of people didn't but like that. But them together made it interesting. We do not we do not need idiots who threaten to chop people's head off to make Speaker's Corner interesting. Yeah, Speaker's Corner yeah, yeah. has been here for 250 years yeah. without people needing to threaten to cut people's heads off. What happened to Tad? Tad's visa expires, so he's, he's out of the country. Whether he'll be left back in, I don't know. He still is, But I'll tell you, on, on the subject of Tan, look at the anger directed at Tan for using a word. Women, women are sexually harassed here week in, week out. And if you don't believe that, read my last article on medium.com. Sexual harassment at Speaker's Corner. But yet, there's no outcry about that. <laughs> women are groped, sexually molested, frequently at Speaker's Corner. No one speaks out about that. Women are as welcome here as men. Mr. Speaker, you are the ones, or your ancestors are the ones, who created all these monarchs. Uh, what did we create? Yes, you what created create? those kingdoms in the Arab world. You created them. Monarchs. Monarchs. Uh, atheists. He did refer to black people as Arabs in the West. And which is worse, words or sexually groping someone? In my mind, sexually groping someone is a lot worse than words. How can we undo it? What's your views, Joseph? <laughs> What's my views on Tan? On Omar. Racist on Omar, violent. Who? Probably, probably has mental issues. Who? But definitely is a threat and a danger to people over the guy they call Rat Boy. Do you reckon? I, I think so, yeah. yeah I've seen him. Um, well, like, you and I know, we're all. Yeah, it all should be about intellectual think, ideas, it should be, not be. He wound people up, he was a troll. I mean, if I came up and I just started trying to wind up, you know, the. Uh, but, so you're saying you shouldn't be able to come to Speaker's Corner and wind people up? No, no, no. What do you mean? I mean, look, you have more respect than that. I mean, you're a troll, but you don't go that far. Do you have more respect? Maybe in about 10 minutes. Should he have been handled out the park? I honestly A lot of people are a lot more calmer than I would have used. you view good. That's not an answer to his question, though. I think if you use racist language to provoke people, should we start a free Tan campaign or a free Omar campaign? Forget all that. We need them both. They are free each other. Except for one's left the country because his visa expired. The other's out on bail currently. So actually, neither need free. He's still here. He's still here. Still? He's still here. Tan is still here. Where is he? Tan is still here, apparently. Oh, five knows him. In detention. He ain't going to be here for much so Tan is still here, so I correct myself. Felton, Heathrow. So are your sources, Steve? Sorry? Your sources are not very I know, good. You always got to check your sources. I, I don't question my sources about rat boys. <laughs> Who's next to go? How do you feel about the terrorist attack on the... Uh... Joseph, get him out. <laughs> Every every synagogue in this country has permanent security on the door. Does every church need that? Does every mosque need that? No. There is one world religion that requires security on its front door in every synagogue that it has. Why is that? Joseph, why? Radical Islam, neo-Nazis, the far left. We've got a lot of enemies. As, as Joseph pointed out, you've had, what, 2,000 years of this? Yeah, 2,000 years. Uh, but were you, tragically, yeah, we're used yeah, to it. Yeah, paranoia about the Jews. Oh, they're behind everything. They're behind the media. They're behind the government. What? Where is the evidence for it? What have Jews ever done to us? Can anyone tell me? With fact, with evidence. What have the George Jews George ever George done George to George us? George. Silence. We don't like Geordies. Carrot Jews, Jews, apple juice, yeah, we've all heard that one. And yet the Jews are the most persecuted now and for centuries. Why is that? What have they ever done to us?
Gave us banking. Yeah, yeah, yeah someone sent bombs huh? to Sarah. Gave us banking. <laughs> what about banking? Actually, why do people hate the Jews? I they like gave us. Yeah. By it. I mean, I think if you stick around here long enough, you'll hear why they hate them, but it's completely irrational. Like, literally, everyone here talks about Jews, and when a Jew actually walks into the park, they wet themselves with excitement and run over and ask every single anti Semitic conspiracy theory they can think of. No, I think it's religious bigotry in most cases. You don't get anti-Semitism in nations that were, you rarely get anti-Semitism in nations that weren't either Christian or Muslim at some point. We've been thrown out of the Muslim world, massacred there. We've been thrown out of Christendom, massacred in the Holocaust. And, it's, and when you go to China, what happened to the Jews in China? The Jews in China weren't persecuted. Why is that? Because it wasn't Christian and it wasn't Muslim, in my opinion. That was a good one. That was a good one. You're a very, you're a very strong people. We, we, we what, the people of victims. Dude, every single people suffer throughout history. You can't just say, oh, you know, we no, suffer Jews. What is so special else? about Jews? And, and there's the typical, the typical answer. You mentioned, see, you mentioned six, point six point six, there was a, there was a, there was a massacre on literally on Monday. Yeah, sorry, literally on um, Saturday. A massacre. And you're saying professional victims or whatever. Six million thrown in the Holocaust. A million thrown out of the Muslim world. And you're literally saying everyone's... Six million Jews died during the Holocaust. True. 10 million Ukrainians died during the whole war. And that's Nobody horrible. talks about it. No, no, I agree. I agree, but that doesn't take... everybody talk about the Jews that and nobody talks about the Ukrainians? That doesn't... The because Ukraine, the Ukraine, the Ukraine needs a louder voice, because you are completely people right. Are you still? No, I agree. I agree. People in Ukraine, and probably any individual has and ever done deny the Holocaust as well. Do we ever hear people about deny Ukraine? Deny do we ever hear agree. about the fact that Russia has invaded Ukrainian territory? Do we ever hear anything so about it? Russia is it? currently squatting in Crimea. Do we hear anything about it? So why don't Russia we do invades anything? Georgia. Russia invades Ukraine. We hear nothing about it and we do nothing about it. Why not? Why not? No offense, right? No Russia's been part of Ukraine for longer than California's been part of the United States. You don't redraw national boundaries because Russia is one part of Ukraine, <laughs> isn't it the other The way national out? boundaries of Ukraine, Ukraine of were, were, in, were, were there. Sorry, sorry, yeah, yeah. Where? Putin ignores international boundaries. Putin we ignores well. international in law. We Putin do well. is one of the most evil people on this planet. Yeah, yeah. He is Steve. a corrupt, Steve. he leads a corrupt mafia Steve, state. Steve, would you agree we do as well? Now in Mo, not in my ear. Steve, do you agree we do as well from the Western side point of view? No, that we don't uh, obey international laws and boundaries? Well, I can't think of anyone other than Putin who has repeatedly run roughshod over international I will give borders. You. I will give and you international Tony law. Blair and George Bush. What country is Britain oh, squatting in and saying it's now yeah, British? No. Where? No, no, no. Where? It's about. I'll keep up. Within the last 150 years. No, yeah, get out of our country. So Tony Blair and George Bush did, not, did Look nothing. Look at the map. There are so many like little Russian enclaves within yeah, other states where Russia has just gone in and said, oh, we've got a few Russian ethnic people living there. Where we'll redraw the boundary. North That's Ossetia. what Britain did. Um, you know, there's a long list of little enclaves that Russia has invaded and taken over. Russia are the biggest enemy. All Putin does is put money into RT to sow anti-Western propaganda around the world. So we are allowed RT to defend our country, but Russia and Putin is not allowed media to defend this channels country. You, can watch. No, it's true, it's true. You, you have a demonstration of five people in London. The only channel that will be there to film it is RT. Because it meets their narrative Bullshit. that the TNT West are crazy, that we're angry. They, RT is a solely funded propaganda arm of the Kremlin. Nothing more, nothing less. Thank you. Jeremy Corbyn like Fuck, it's this. raining, man. Well, that's how, that's how <laughs> what about the BBC? And look, look, look at the English numpties, or the British numpties, that go and work for RT. George Galloway. Um, Jeremy Corbyn in his day. I mean, just look at the Alex Salmon. Look at the people they attract. People who have no morals. People that have no balls. I think we have to.
to give him credit for calling out the dangerous fundamentalism, though. Dangerous Wahhabi fundamentalism, though, in, in RT News. People I mean, worry whether Russia funded, funded the Brexit campaign. Now, I'm a Brexiteer, I support Brexit. But it, it is bad and it is wrong for Russia to try and interfere in anything. But they might try and interfere in something that I agree with. But it doesn't make me a supporter of Putin's mafia corrupt state. God, I love it when he gets mad. I mean, look how many, how many countries, apart from now Saudi Arabia, kill, kill the opposition. Take over. I love you. That's going to be a big one. I'm going there.